So I thought I needed American examples to help to convey my message. So in the hotel room, I opened up American football. And I, I wanted to see what it's like. But when you watch American football, you're waiting for them to use their foot, but they don't use their foot. What happens is they start holding the ball. They throw the ball under their legs and the guy catches the ball with his hand. And then he throws the ball with his hand. And the guy running catches the ball with his hand. And he does touchdown with his hand. And the American said, this is football. But now it becomes mainstream when you go to America, football is football. Which shows you branding can be powerful. The reason why I start with this is to show how history has been subverted. When Blinken went to Tel Aviv and said, I'm here as a Jew, as if he was challenging the region by saying, I'm here as a Jew and you will not be able to kick me out. As if the Muslims had ever even tried to kick the Jews out from the region. As if he was trying to rebrand the history that is unique to the region, whereby when Umar ibn Khattab عن, entered Jerusalem Al-Aqsa, he found that it was the European anti-Semitic Romans who had kicked out the Jews from Jerusalem and Umar ibn Khattab was the one who granted safe passage for them to come back. As if Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi Salah al Ayyubi wasn't the one who entered Jerusalem goes in and brings the Jews back that the anti-Semitic crusaders had kicked out. As if it wasn't Sultan Bayezid of the Ottomans, who when the anti-Semitic Isabella of Spain kicks out the Jews and Muslims from Andalusia, as if somehow Blinken is talking, as if it wasn't Bayezid who sent the boats to Spain, to Spain to pick up the Jews and bring them back to the haven that is the Muslim lands that was established during the time of Umar al Khattab and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he made the Treaty of Medina and also Salah al-Din Ayyub. As if Blinken was saying, "I'm here as a Jew." As if somehow this isn't the region where, after the Holocaust, when the Jews thought, "Where can we go for safety?" They looked back at their history. They found that the haven was always in the Muslim lands. So they got on a boat. They went towards Palestine and they unfurled the banner where they said, "Please don't do to us what the Europeans did to us." Anti-Semitism is being rebranded as if the Holocaust happened in Saudi as if the Warsaw program, uh, the Warsaw program happened in Tanja, as if the Spanish Inquisition happened in Kairouan. That's how it's being rebranded now.